childless after 10 years of marriage and you discover that the fault is from the husband what would you do women you know normally in from africa where we come from it's always the other way around when in every marriage when there is no children you no know, when there is no babies yet everybody's looking at the woman and like when are we coming for the naming ceremony people will be giving you jibes like that you know then first year second year third year the mother-in-law setting when are you going to give my son a child they can't start poking their sons are you not going to do something about this woman are you not going to get another wife and they start saying fault the sister-in-law setting then even your own mother the woman's mother is worried is desperate that you know her daughter hasn't had any kid and the woman herself goes from one spiritual leader to the other sometimes one church to the other you know sometimes from doctor to doctor fertility medication to fertility medication you know doing all sort of things just to get pregnant at the end of 10 years you now discover that all said and done is your fault is your husband's fault you know sometimes while all these years things are going on the, the man some men we walking around with this chip on their shoulders like you know sweetheart i've done all i'm doing you know it's all your fault oh, taking all the medication they might not really go for a check or possibly they go they might not really discover that it's their fault yet i don't know but sometimes some men would say look i'm okay you know everybody every all my brothers have kids so why shouldn't i have you know there are lots of stuff we hear from our homes our back home african marriages so the question again is after 10 years you now discover it's your husband's fault seriously what would you do if it's the man the man of course has the option of taking a second wife now for you the woman you can't take a second husband and still keep your first husband that's totally out of the question so what would you do you know and of course you wouldn't go blabbing to your mother-in-law now we've discovered is your son so back off of course you wouldn't do that because you love your husband and you're expecting so again it comes down to the same question what would you do personally i would advise two things go to a sperm bank get do artificial insemination ivf have a baby for your husband it's between the two of you alternatively you can adopt Ado everybody's adopting these days you can adopt if you know a newborn baby and nurture that child save your marriage you need to hold on to your marriage if you love your husband you hold on to your marriage and i'm very sure the man will be forever grateful to you it's going to be between the two of you he, the marriage will be so solidly strong you'll be so amazed there's nothing in this world that ca does not have a solution so if you discover after 10 years or even more that your husband is the one at fault go for counseling seek help adopt go and get a, i mean go to the sperm bank get 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 an ivf done it works and people are doing it every day and it's working so if you're back home or anywhere and you're facing this kind of situation there are so many options don't waste all your life trying and trying and trying and trying there are so many kids out there that need good parents to adopt them and bring them up in good homes you could be one of those families that has been you know there's predestined to 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 bring up a child like that so if you have such problems talk about it talk to helen again i want to ask men if you discover after 10 years of marriage that you are the fault how would you hold on with your wife talk to helen